Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun and Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest out. We have new beginnings with planning and action, so a new cycle's beginning here. Uh, it looks like it's been a really tough road, and things are finally shifting in a better direction. Someone's uh, taking uh, action here, making the right decisions. Broken, I feel shattered about the situation. Damage, we are both hurting from this. So this was really, really tough uh, to go through. I see that on both sides, uh, both feel torn. Overall energy is the hair font. This is about doing what is expected of us, traditions, following the rules. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have the lovers, king of wands and the ten of swords, yeah. Definitely there's been an ending here where you feel like there's finality within a connection here. There is no going back, but you didn't really get what you desired from it. And uh, you see that things are starting to shift and change this week, but for the better, okay? You feel uh, in your intuition that things are starting to really uh, change, okay? Something is starting to feel different. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Swords for their energy. Yeah, they are ready to uh, embrace the feelings that they have. This person is definitely feeling on the outs here, realizing that they've done something that they really shouldn't have, as well as taken so much from you. So I see that they haven't really been willing to, uh, you know, open up to you, work together with you. Instead, they always try to push back, put this wall up here in the Two of Swords, try not to uh, make any decisions when it came to this connection. And I see they regret uh, not making you a priority. Okay, tell me the Two of Swords. Queen of Swords. And the World card. Yeah, not seeing things clearly for what they are. This person uh, tends to get overwhelmed in their emotions. And they hide it very well. But they act upon it in a way that can be aggressive. Or they repeat the same patterns of uh, manipulations. And so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Fool card. This is a very devastating situation. I do see that uh, they made some risky decisions here when it came to your heart and this connection. It's almost uh, they were careless with uh, how they were doing things, what they were saying, not really seeing the value of what was right in front of them. Even though they were denying that their feelings were very deep for you and that they missed you constantly here. The struggle within themselves, always trying to uh, convince themselves that they, they don't miss you, that they don't care that much. And I see that it left you feeling abandoned, insecure about where you stand with them. And you just feel like you couldn't trust them uh, at all. Tell me the Ten of Wands. Temperance. Temperance, Ten of Cups. Yeah, they just were very stubborn, unwilling to budge and really open up their heart to you or talk about some serious issues. I do see that they tried to run away from commitment or taking responsibility for their actions or behavior or how they were even treating you. It became difficult to see what their true intentions were. Tell me what the fool. Three of Cups Hermits. Yeah, there was less times of where you could enjoy this person and the company that they gave. Uh, more times you were sad and felt like this person was always trying to neglect this connection, put it off, and uh, you couldn't really count on them at all. I do see for some of them, they fell on hard times here with the Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and felt like that had to be their main focus, not this connection or the feelings that they have here. Uh, Four of Pentacles, yeah. They were heavily guarded and you felt like they were treating you in a way where they were using you in a sense or only really coming towards you when they needed something or when they wanted to get their needs met. And you felt like in the long run, you just didn't really matter to them. And you couldn't understand because in the beginning, you know, it did feel like everything was moving in the right direction. I do see, though, with the fool, this person has a hard time taking responsibility or accountability for 
how they treat people and what they do. Uh, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. They don't like to be tied down to certain things, and I see that they make decisions to kind of keep them in that comfortable lifestyle. And if it's not that, it's really difficult to keep this person's attention, to get them focused on this connection in general. So with the Ace of Wands, you always felt like you were just a side or an afterthought, just something that uh, would you know ease their time or make them feel better. The Three of Wands, there can be distance here between you two. If it's not physical, it's emotional with the Page of Cups because we have somebody that's heavily guarded but unwilling to grow uh, and mature emotionally. So I don't really know how to deal with their emotions and they can be very sensitive and Side. So they can do, do things uh, based on their emotions that come out aggressively or in a different way. So they don't really get their point across. They don't know how to communicate properly uh, around how they feel. Tell me the Page of Cups. Chariot, Nine of Pentacles. They don't feel uh, that comfortable with themselves. I do see that... Uh, they feel like they doubt themselves a lot. They don't think that uh, they're very confident in what they can achieve, if love is really for them, if someone can truly love them for who they are. They're dealing with a lot of emotional baggage that they suppress, and they come off as somebody that just doesn't care much about anything on a deep level. Uh, tell me the Three of Wands. Six of Cups, King of Cups. Yeah, their motive here was to never let you go, to always have you longing for them and missing them, but they weren't willing to give in or uh, really let that wall down so you can see how they truly feel and really build upon this connection. So I, keep, I see them keeping it stuck here. Uh, so let's see what they're about to do. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. So prepare yourself. You have major change. It's unexpected coming your way. And this person's getting ready to reveal that will change the future of this connection. And you'll finally get to see what is really going on and get what you desire out of this. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.